most of the morning since we got up. She's back there on a, a work call right now, a little video chat. Um, so yeah, Juju's taking a nap and I'm gonna go bang out some more schoolwork. Trying to get my little afternoon workout in. Try to stay in shape while we're all quarantined. Um, honestly, biggest problem for me has been motivation. Just hit the afternoons and even though I'm not doing a whole lot during the day, just knocking out some schoolwork, <clears throat> it's still somehow trying to motivate yourself to work out at home is always the biggest problem for me. Um, Cause I don't know, there's something about going to the gym where once you get there, you kind of know like you're here to work out. But somehow being at home, it's just like, it's just hard to get going. Um, so, I mean, I, I would assume other people are kind of struggling with this too, but <clears throat> here we go. So I just got done working for the day and Daniel's downstairs exercising. And then we're gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna get some exercise and then we'll come home and make some dinner and then Time to relax. Got a little puppy looking at me. There he is. Oh, you say hi? <laughs> so, I went on our walk. Sorry, it's kind of windy out here, but it's nice today. I'm a little chilly. He's fine, clearly, in his tank top. Oh, I just finished working out, too. Oh, right, that's true. He's still warm from his yeah. workout. I mean, it's like 60 some degrees and pretty sunny. Yeah. A little bit windy. Yeah. But I still look good. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? Juju, when he gets to the back half of this walk, <laughs> he's just trying to make like a beeline going home. He doesn't usually like going for walks. But today he seemed to actually enjoy it, I think because he's been <laughs> stuck up. inside since we started this quarantine. This is our first walk of the entire quarantine. And this is like day 20. <laughs> yeah. This is like We're day 20. <laughs> he is a very lazy he just, dog. He just hates going for walks. He does, he hates going for walks. He wants to get home as soon as possible. And then, um, when he's on walks, like he's starting to do now, he just wants to pull. Right. Because he knows we're going home. Usually the first half of the walk, we kind of have to drag him along. <laughs> and then the second half, he tries to drag us home. Yeah. So I guess it's it's pretty fair. Yeah. But he's been pretty good today. He hasn't been, like, we haven't really had to drag him around because he's been, no, he's been enjoying it. He's interested in the outside right now. Yeah. He likes it. All right, so we just finished making some dinner. Um, we made tomato soup and grilled cheese because we're healthy like that. And I was chilly, so the soup is nice. Right. I'm wearing a tank top and shorts <laughs> and Steph's wearing basically pants and a hoodie. Um, I'm actually wearing pants. You made it sound like... <laughs> well, they're capris. They don't necessarily count <laughs> as full on pants. <laughs> She's wearing wear no them. pants <laughs> and a hoodie. Yeah. This is why That's she's why cold. <laughs> Little tip. If you're cold, put on pants. Okay, so we're going to eat <laughs> and watch some Superstore. Okay, we are going to bed, except I'm not. <laughs> it's the end of the day. We don't always go to bed at the same time, but it's okay. Full disclosure. We still sleep in the same bed. We still sleep together. Yes. And it's great. Uh, Goodbye. Good Morning. Happy Friday. I'm just about to finish getting ready. I have some videos that I want to record for my students today. So I'm actually going to be putting on makeup so I can look presentable during those videos. 
time for work. So a couple weeks before school's closed for quarantine, my students planted some purple coneflower seeds for one of our science units. And I decided to bring them home because for the first time in all three years that I've been teaching, I actually had some of the plants sprout and start growing. So I wanted to bring them home to try to keep them alive while I could. So I'm getting ready to water them for today. Um, some of them still haven't sprouted, but I'm not giving up on them quite yet. That's why they still have the cups on them to make their own little greenhouses. All right, so just put frozen pizza in the oven and I'm getting ready to make some brownies now. Wild Friday night, sticking with our healthy eating theme here. Um, so we're gonna use the Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge Brownie Mix, the thick and fudgy kind. Um, I'm gonna see how much is in here. Usually we end up making two boxes in one pan of brownies because we like them really thick. And the first time that we tried to make brownies just using one box, they came out really thin and there just wasn't a lot to them. So we decided to start using two, but this box feels really heavy and really full. So um, I'm gonna see what one package looks like and we'll see if maybe I can get a whole pan of brownies as thick as we like them just from one box because then we can save the second box for maybe next week or the week after if we want some more brownies. So we just spent what like a half hour or something not longer. <laughs> if, if not longer trying to figure out food for the next week or more um pushing yeah almost two weeks um it's kind of hard to plan vegetables for that long just because they're hard to keep good that was awkward fresh fresh that's the word i was looking for <laughs> um so i think we're just doing vegetables for this week um for now and then maybe we'll have some frozen stuff that will last into the next to the week after that um, we're buying vegetables this week because we already have all of the proteins that we need. Right. My, so we're just I, supplementing <clears throat> our protein with stuff from the store. Right. I went to Sam's with my mom last last week. Last week, I think. Yeah, last week. Um, and they've been helping us out with some groceries. And so we loaded up on a bunch of stuff we could stick in the freezer. But sometimes it's really the sides that kill you. Um, Besides thinking of like rice and potatoes and- Right, so <laughs> trying to eat healthy and also have stuff that's not gonna rot in the refrigerator has been tough. Okay, so I just got to the store. The parking lot doesn't look too, too full, but it's not, it's also not nobody. Um, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll have what we're looking for. So Daniel just went to the store and I'm about to eat breakfast and then I need to take a shower and get some more work done for school today. There is no toilet paper at all in the whole store. And there's like just a little bit of paper towels. So next up, looking for disinfectant and I'm not optimistic. I definitely recommend Harris Teeter. Um, they seem like they had a lot of stuff in stock. Um, none of the cleaning supplies that I was hoping to get. Um, and definitely no toilet paper. Um, they were 100%, maybe even more than 100% out of that. Um, so I head home now. Wines weren't even bad here. It only took me probably not even an hour to go shopping. So, and I wasn't even moving fast. So good shopping trip, pretty pretty happy about that. I would have liked to get some cleaning stuff, but we'll just have to make do. A couple of things I wanted to say before I head inside to sterilize and put away these groceries. Um, so we have a really strict uh, routine that we stick with when we go out shopping these days. Um, so we usually bring a bottle of hand sanitizer with us that we use like a million times during the trip. 
um but today i forgot that bottle so i was a little extra paranoid um but i was pretty thankful that uh harris teeter another reason i'm gonna give her like five out of five stars this trip um they had wipes for people on the way out the door um so i don't know if that was to use on your cart or what it is for if it's just whatever you want but i was very thankful for that because i could sanitize my hands after i put my groceries in the car um so that was awesome i am so thankful for that editing stuff here i keep watching the part of daniel talking in the car and i cannot get over how gorgeous his eyes look in the car like it's crazy his eyes are so bright and like green and just oh they look so nice i cannot stop watching i can't get over it something else i wanted to say how weird is driving now okay i'm used to driving at least seven like i drive all seven days in a week so it's like super weird hopping behind the wheel of a car now because you just don't do it anymore like it's so crazy like it feels like I don't know. It feels just like brand new every time. And then last thing, who who can believe that gas prices are below $2 now? Like I get that nobody's going anywhere and stuff. So I guess that's why the gas is cheaper. But seeing that, seeing it start with a one is just like blowing my mind. So we're making ribs for dinner. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Ribs are one of my favorites. Probably second to pizza. <laughs> Um, again, healthy eating. I guess the ribs Oops. aren't, no, the ribs are fine. It's the french fries that we're it's making It's the french it. fries that are going with it that are not so great. <laughs> Although they're sweet potato fries. The healthier french fry option. At least they're sweet potato fries. It's better than nothing. Um, but so we're just putting these ribs in the oven for probably about two and a half hours. Um... We just hit it for now with a little bit of salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. Okay, checking in on these ribs. They've been in here a little over two hours. Looking pretty good. And now we're gonna hit them with some sauce. So we like using this Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. Okay, ribs just came out of the oven and they look exquisite. <laughs> Not to mention they smell super good. I am, in a word, excited. <laughs> okay, I don't know how well you can see this, <laughs> but I mowed the lawn today and then Juju went outside and ran around and now his feet are green. <laughs> Again, I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but... He has all green feet. All of his feet are green. <laughs> Hashtag white dog problems. <laughs> Pobrums. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.